All right, guys. I want to talk about something serious today. The close down of Realm of Champions, unfortunately, is GG's to one of the games in our circles, um, unfortunately. So I want to speak on that. And I also wanted to have put my opinions on what could this mean for Marvel Future Evolution. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this, right? So Realm of Champions was a Marvel game that is in our circle. And what do I mean by in our circle? I mean tight-knit, net Marvel-ish area. So that's this game. Contest of Champions, Future Fight, and Future Revolution. Now, unfortunately, this game is closing down after a year and a half run. Um, it it started off very popular. It had a views. It had the revenue. Um, but unfortunately, as the time passed, the devs just got worse. They weren't fixing anything. Every update they had, it kind of was going downhill with every update. <laughs> Sounds like someone else that we know. Um, and you just look at the hype here, like 2 million views on this. This is a mobile game that had 2 million views. So the hype was definitely there, and people wanted this game to succeed. If you didn't, that's cool, but everybody else that kind of, you know, were hyped about this, we wanted to see this succeed. We always want to see games like this succeed in our circle. But unfortunately, it, it wasn't able to stay up. Um... The biggest component is, I don't know what Netmarble was trying to do with these games, but they seem to be having a fanatic now with geared PvP, and it's forced geared PvP at that. They, they're doing forced geared PvP and an MMORPG, which is a terrible idea to do, and Marvel Future Revolution, and now they're also doing a force, and they also did force geared PvP in a mobile, in a MOBA, which is also terrible to do. The, that's not the recipe for success, and I don't know why they keep trying to do this. Um, the game wasn't like completely trashed or anything like that. It had good graphics, gameplay, just like Marvel Future Revolution. The rewards are trash, the rank rewards are trash, the dailies, you know. It, it's kind of just another run-in-the-mill kind of, you know, thing. Um, and it's kind of, this game, it went down the same route that Marvel Future Revolution is going through now. About time they start listening to it, it might be too late, unfortunately. Um, so, what, what does this mean for Marvel Future Revolution? Now... The thing with Marvel Future Revolution is this game is not getting any popular. As you can see in the App Store, it's going down. We're going up. It's going down. Um, we're at 81 right now. That's the same thing with the App Store and Google. It's, it's fluctuating up and down. That's just kind of where the game is. It made $3 million in the month of December. I'm willing to bet, you know, especially with Christmas coming around and probably the Black Friday deals. This is probably not what they were expecting from this game. I, I'm going to put my high hopes on this game was probably supposed to uh, make a lot more money. And I think that they also had that same idea for Realm of Champions as well. However, even though Realm of Champions died... I don't think Marvel Future Revolution is going to die anytime soon. Realm of Champions is a victim of a nearly perfect mobile game in Marvel Contest of Champions. The, the amount of effort went into Realm of Champions is phenomenal. Just like in Marvel Future Revolution. But I think... Netmarble was so fixated on finding the next Seven Deadly Sins or the next Marvel Contest of Champions in terms of revenue-wise. When those games came out or at the highest of their peak, they have tried to force unwarranted marketing tactics, balancing tactics, um, gameplay tactics to try to get people to spend more. But in turn, they're just making people want to leave more and spend less. And I don't understand why they still keep trying to go down this route. Um, 
it's not the 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 twenty honestly like the twenty six ninety nine packs is not the way to go. They even tried that in Realm of Champions. It's but but that's neither here or there. The reason that I'm saying I think Marvel Future Revolution is going to be absolutely fine is because they have their counterpart and their counterpart isn't really as popular as Marvel Contest of Champions. It's for sure not making enough money. The counterpart to them is Marvel Future Revolution Fight, right? As you guys can see, um, Marvel Future Fight made 2.9 million last year. I mean, last month compared to you know Future Revolutions, three million. So as as long as Marvel Future Revolution keeps making more money than Marvel Future Fight, then it's going to be fine. Um, um, another thing is, you guys, you want to, when you're making your mobile games, you guys want to go ahead, and I'm going to be as truthful to, this, as truthful to this as possible. You want to try to get your game. In the best spot and the Apple Store, um, you really don't you don't want like you want your game to succeed on Google, right? But if a game doesn't succeed on Google, then it's fine as far as revenue wise and um, you know the game getting exposure wise. Um, but of course, it's not going to be that much. It's not going to be that good when it comes to having the actual player base wise because most of the people download these kind of games during the Google Google Play Store. And a lot of countries that, you know, stills um their high end is Android are not, you know, the most richest countries, to put it says the least. Um, as you guys can see, this had one million downloads from Google last month. They made two million. This had 90K and they made 900K. That is a big discrepancy. And the reason you don't hear about this game much is for the simple fact that it has no buzz at all on the Apple Store. Um, you, it's, this game isn't going to make that much money. If you're, tar if you're not hitting your target audience, which is the Apple Store, but on the good side, I will say that I think Marvel Future Revolution is doing a good job at least with hitting their audience on the Apple Store. Because actually, Marvel Future Revolution is an anomaly. They have more downloads and less revenue on the Apple Store compared to less downloads but more revenue on the Google Store. Um, not just, uh, more so because, you know, Apple isn't much harder to... It's not hard. It's, it's hard to crack. It's hard to to scam with Apple Card. It's it's harder to do a lot of shady things compared to Apple. Uh, I mean compared to Google. So I can I can definitely get um I can see why you know they're making more revenue from the Google Play Store. But nonetheless, your main goal is you wanna hit the Apple Store. If your Apple Store rating is not good and you're not making good revenue from your Apple Store, then your game might as well be as good as dead. Because Google's going to get theirs regardless. Google Play Store, it's somewhere where people would try anything. In the Apple Play Store, you have to win your audience over for people to actually hop in there, as you guys can see. It's hard to it's hard to do a, make a breakthrough in that. And unfortunately... Marvel Future Fight just cannot do that, which is why they're going to be making less money. So as long as Marvel Future Revolution keeps making more money than Future Fight, they don't worry about it, guys. Future Revolution is not going nowhere. I've seen people commenting on, like, Marvel Realm of Champions videos, and people are like, oh, I'm scared for Future Future Revolution. They're going the same route. Even though I feel like they are going down the same route, um, revenue-wise, attendance-wise, um, updates-wise, player base wise um i can definitely see why people are scared for that reason but here's another avenue that you guys have to take into account the game is making more than future fight so if future revolution goes under then for sure future fight has to go under certainly right but another thing that i want to show you guys is 
around this time is where we had the No Way Home update. And they went ahead and they uh, promoted the, the Black Spider-Man outfit. Um, so this is about Right, so that that's kind of where about this time that update had happened. So uh, when it comes to Future Fight and Future Evolution, these two games are always going to be the catalyst for MCU updates. So as long as MCU updates keep coming through, these games are going to stay alive. I don't think I don't think Netmarble really cares too much about making the revenue or even keeping the player base happy. I think that they really just care about. As far as might be Marvel, they probably don't care. I want to say that. I'm like, let me rephrase that. Not net Marvel, but Marvel. I feel like Marvel does not care about future revolution or future fight as long as it keeps driving the hype for the MCU. Because that's going to be the big turning point for these. Marvel is not. Marvel does not breathe down the the back of these two games like they do contests of champions. If Contest of Champions has a, a screw up, and, or if their money dips below a certain line, um, like um, a developer even told us in an interview with one of our with one of the MCLC content content creators, when the game starts underperforming, uh, even like a, a little bit, the Marvel execs comes in there and they let them know like, hey, we need to pick this up. Maybe let's release this character to move this character around. I am 100% guaranteed that Marvel is X don't care. They probably just say, oh, well, look, you know, attendance went up during the No Way Home update. That's cool. Kind of the same thing when it comes to Marvel Future Fight. Um, so I highly doubt that they even care about these games. Um, so um, you're kind of just at the whim of what Never Marvel wants to do with these two games, rather if you're a Future Revolution or a Future Fight player. But... I just wanted to go ahead and give this a breakdown. Um, if I had more time, I would show way more numbers. I would show the charts and everything like that if I could just pull them up. Um, but at the end of the day, man, don't worry about it. This game isn't going anywhere. Uh, however, they do need to get their shit together. But other than that, this game isn't going nowhere. We're fine. Future Revolution isn't going to die anytime. So I don't think this game is going to die, period. So that's my opinion. If you have another opinion, just let me know down below. You let me know how you feel about this. Are you... Yeah, so um, you, you let me know. Are you kind of wary of this game dying? You never want to see another game die. And I just, ah, yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe another time. We'll never know. We'll figure it out. Um, hopefully the next update is something good. And I'm out of here. Peace.